you're happy and you know, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know, and you really want to show, if you're happy and you know, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know, shout amen, amen. If you're happy and you know, shout amen, amen. If you're happy and you know, and you really want to show, if you're happy and you know, shout amen, amen. Good morning, boys and girls. How is everyone doing? I'm so happy today. As I've clapped my hand, as I've said amen, because God has given me good health, good life, and I can be here standing in front of you, and I'm sure that God has been graceful to you. And I'm sure that we are all doing well. I want to welcome you for another Sunday. I hope you guys are excited. I hope you guys have been following through what we've been doing through this series of prayer. As we pray for the nation, as we pray for other children, as we pray for the churches, and also what has been disturbing us, which is COVID. God is able to do that which man is not able to do. So for today, I want to invite each one of you. We continue to do the lesson of Daniel, and we're doing about being thankful to God. How many of us are thankful to God this morning? I am thankful to God because he's given me the good health and I can breathe in the fresh air. I hope you guys are excited and you're thankful about something this morning. Ah, before we start our lesson, for those of you who didn't catch up last week, if you want to check on our lessons, kindly go to our website, which is down here, www.icctengela.org, or you can even follow us on our social platforms. Make sure you go there, you have all the recordings, you'll even have activities and crafts that we have in our website. So can you let me pray as we start? Let's put our hands together for our prayer. Father, we thank you this morning and we bless your name because you're mighty and we're thankful to what you have done to our lives this day. We are thankful to our country and to our nation. We pray for each and everyone that is watching us this morning. As we start, mighty Father, may you be with us. May you help us learn what the teachers are teaching us this morning. We thank you and we bless you. It's in Jesus Christ to pray this trust and believing. Amen, amen, and amen. Thank you, guys. Hope you enjoy the service. Goodbye. Good morning, children. It's been such a long time since I last saw you, man. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're wearing your mask wherever you go. I hope you're sanitizing so that you don't get COVID, yeah? I want to see you so, so, so much that I want you to be well. But when you come back here, we shall have so much fun. Right, but before we start today's lesson, let's just say a short prayer, right? Um, Heavenly Father, King of Glory, we come before you and we thank you, Lord. We thank you that we are here today. And we thank you, Lord, that um, whatever it is that you are going to learn today, Heavenly Father, that it may, be, it may come from you, Heavenly Father, and it may be used to glorify your name. We pray for the children. We pray that they may have understanding, Heavenly Father. We thank you and we bless you. For it is in your name we pray and believe. Amen, amen, amen. So for the past four weeks, I think we've been having such great lessons, yeah? But today what you're going to do, we are going to review all the lessons and see what you've learned so far. Are you ready? Can you remember? Can you remember? All right, let's see. Uh, in the first week, who can remember what we learned? Who can remember? Well, let me jog your memory. I remember what we learned was... What Daniel, what Daniel did with his friends when they were offered food from the king, do you know what they did? They refused to eat that food. And instead, they ate the water and the vegetables. Do you know why they did that? Because they were faithful to God. Even though they were offered this yummy food, but they knew what they were supposed to do. And that tells us God is faithful, yeah? And if you do what he wants, he will always, always reward us. Can you remember that? That if you are faithful to God and do what he wants, he will always reward us. Yeah? Week number two. We learned how Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego refused to bow down to their statue. First I'll ask you, do we pray to a living God or to statues? Right, I heard you say to a living God. Yes, they refused to bow to their statues. And what happened? They King said they were to be thrown into the fire. And when they are thrown into the fire, 
They, everyone was expecting them to get burnt and all that. But much to the amazement of everyone, not even a single hair on their head caught fire. Well, I don't have hair, but if you can just imagine that not even the eyebrows caught fire, even a single one. Do you know why? Because God comes through for us when you trust him. When you trust God, even in times of trouble, he will come and help you. Okay? He will come and help. So even if you're having a difficult time, you don't understand something that the teacher has told you to do, just pray to God and he'll show you the way. Okay? Then week number three. Oh, sorry. Week number three. This is number three. Yeah? Week number three, we heard about how Daniel was a very prayerful person. He used to pray three times a day. Three times a day. And the king did not like that. And people said bad things about Daniel that he had said about the king. I know what the king's people did. They threw him into a pit of lions. You can imagine the lions were hungry. Nothing happened to him. God came through for him. God came and closed the mouth of the lions. But in the morning when they came to look for him, expecting to be eaten, he actually found them that he was sitting with the lions. And actually the lions were like cats roaming around, but doing nothing to him. And they were so astounded. Who is this God that can even close the mouth of the lions? And that is the God we pray to. And that is the God we trust, right? Then week number four. Week number four, we are told about how the king dreamt a very strange dream. And no one could tell him what the dream meant. And he was so angry and upset. And he said, all these people cannot help me. Please kill them all. And Daniel went and prayed and told his friends, let's pray so that God can tell us what the king wants to hear. The interpretation of the dream. And you know what? God revealed to Daniel. God revealed to Daniel what the, what the king dreamt and what the dream meant. And when Daniel told the king, the king was so happy because finally somebody told him what the dream meant. Yeah? So what we are told there and what we are told us, we have to be persistent in prayer. We have to keep on praying. And when we do that, God, the living God we serve, will answer our prayers just like he did Daniel's. Yeah? That's what happened. And that's what, what we've gone through in the last four weeks. Yeah? I hope you've learned our lessons that, first of all, God is faithful. He listens to our prayer. God comes through for us in terms of trouble. So when we're having a difficult time, we just pray to God and he'll come through for us. And number four, God listens to us. God listens to our prayers and he answers them. Okay. But before I leave, I want us to say us a prayer here. And I'll read it for you. Yeah? It says, Dear God, we thank you for all you've learned in the past four weeks. Thank you for life. Thank you for taking care of us. Thank you for protecting us from COVID. Yes, he has protected us from COVID. And we thank you for that. And giving us courage to play all the time. Yeah? And just showing us that you are a true God and you are a God that comes through for us in terms of trouble. Now that we've gone through the four lessons that we learned the four weeks, I want us to remember the memory of us. It comes from the book of Colossians chapter 4. Can you see that? Chapter 4, verse 2. Repeat after me. And it says, Be persistent in prayer and keep alert as you pray, giving thanks to God. Can you tell me what persistent means? Persistent means you pray all the time. Every time you get a chance, just tell God thank you. Pray to God. Whenever it is where you are, tell God thank you. And just pray to him. And remember, just like you had in the four, four stories, God comes through for us. So can you remember the memory of us? comes from the book of, I can't hear you. Yes. Colossians chapter 4, verse 2. And it says, be persistent in prayer. And keep alert as you pray, giving thanks to God. Giving thanks to God because God has taken care of us. He's kept us free from disease. He's managed us to be here and talk to you guys. So we always give him thanks. Sawa, thank you very much. And I'm sure you shall remember all the things you've learned today. 
and I'm looking forward to seeing you here. I'm really looking forward to seeing you here. Thank you and have a lovely day. Hey children, what's the hard to read? She learned back in January. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. But let's get serious now. Hi children, my name is Zaria. How have you been? I hope you have been participating in the series for African Children's Prayer Day. We have been taught discipline in prayer. Faith, being faithful, trusting God, praying continuously, and thanksgiving. For one, I know my mom has taught me that while praying, we should cover the following parts. Adoration, petition, intercession, thanksgiving, and praise. That was hard, right? But we see tense. I'm going to teach you how to cover all those parts with just using the hand. We have five fingers, right? Thumb, pointer, index finger, ring finger, and pinky finger. So here is what we do. Thumb, thanksgiving. Tell God what you're thankful for. Pointer, praise. Tell God why you love him. Index finger, I'm sorry. Let God know any mistakes you have made and say sorry. Ring finger, request. Tell God what you need. And lastly, pinky finger, protection. Tell God to protect you and others from harm. That was easy, right? I told you. Good morning, my dear boys and girls. How are you this wonderful Sunday morning? How is the going? Are you safe? Are you okay? Personally, I'm okay. I am happy. I am grateful. I am joyful. I am well. God has kept me. God has kept me safe. God has kept my family safe and all my friends safe and even our church safe. And what about you? I also know you're well because sometimes I talk to your parents and I know that all of you are well. So can we give God thanks for that? May you give God thanks for what he has done for you because I know it is a lot and a lot. We, today, we want to review our lesson. We want to review our lesson on prayer. And why do we do review? Why do, you do, why do we do review? A very wise person one day said that review is wisdom. And what about repetition? Repetition is learning. So when you're repeating something, you are learning. And when you're reviewing that thing, you're gaining more wisdom. I want us to review as we repeat what we have learned about prayer. Are we together? And as we always do, please have your pen and your paper so that you can write something down and then you can go and look at it later. Okay? So the first week, we learned about faithfulness. And we know this story, we, ha we, ha we have learned it from the book of Daniel. And we know in the book of Daniel, we learn so much from the children of Israel who were captives from their home and they were taken to Babylon and they managed to go and be leaders there. Why? Because they were exceptional. That's what happens when you're a child of God. Are we together? So the first week, we learned about how, how Daniel and his friends and his friends were very, very faithful. Remember that? And they did what they were told they should be doing. The second week, what did we learn? We learned that we should trust God. Even when you have been given many choices, if the only right choice, you think it is not going to put you in a proper place, learn to trust God. And we remember Daniel and his friends trusting God. We remember the way his three friends, who are they? Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. Do we remember how they trusted God even when they were threatened that they are going to be thrown into a pit of fire? They trusted God and they did not waver. Be like them. Always trust God and do the right thing. Okay? And what about Daniel? He trusted God even when he was going to the pit of lions. He did not waver. He trusted God. Even you, do likewise. Okay? 
The other week we learned about praying continuously. Do you remember? Praying continuously. And we learned that we saw an example with Daniel when he was going to be thrown in the pit of lions. You know, you remember his uh, wicked, evil colleagues because those were not friends. There are some people you might work with and they are not friends, let me tell you. If you're working with friends who are telling you steal from your parents so that we come and go and buy some stuff at the shop, that is not your friend. Ama, because now you're growing up and being big, somebody's telling you, you know, there's some bad people even use kids even to tra transport things like drugs, you know, bad things. Those are not friends. So there are these other people who are working with Daniel, but they were so jealous of him. And what did they do? They went and convinced the king that this man of yours prays to another god apart from you. Remember the story and the decree and all that? I know we know that story. But what did Daniel do? Did he stop praying? He continued praying. And he continued praying until the final moment that he was going to be thrown into the pit of lions. He was still praying. And I want to believe that when he was there in the midst of the lions, he was still praying. And what happened? He came out of the pit of lions alive and well. Then the other week, what did we learn? About thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, how did it come out from the story of, da of Daniel? You remember there was a dream that King Nebuchadnezzar had dreamt and nobody could be able to interpret the dream. And finally, who was able to interpret the dream? It was only Daniel. Okay? Be thankful and be thankful always. So to review, we are going to look at a bit of questions. But before we do that, can we look... At Colossians chapter 4 and verse, verse 2, what does it tell us? Devote yourselves to prayer, being watchful and thankful. What does that say? Be persistent in prayer and keep alert as you pray and give thanks to God. Whenever you're reading the word of God, always look at the words in, inside there. Now here we have persistent. Persistent says what? You don't stop. What about alert means be aware of what the Spirit of the Lord will tell you. And giving thanks, that is kawaida what we do every day. We give thanks. Okay? Do you remember the different stories and memory verses that we have been learning over the four weeks? I know you do. Now, I want us to do a small exercise. Let me ask you some questions and make sure you're answering. Okay? Because that's how you learn. Remember what I've told you. So, what is the name of the king who took Daniel and his friends to exile? Three, two, one. Did you answer Nebuchadnezzar? Good. Number two. What did Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego refuse to do? Mm -hmm. They refused to worship the golden statue that the king had made. Where were Daniel and his friends exiled to? Were they exiled to Kakamega? Were they exiled to Kakamega? Ama Kisumu? Ama Kirinyaga? They were exiled to Babylon. True or not? Number four. What was the memory verse for the week? Number four. It was Colossians chapter four and verse two. Can we say it together? Be persistent in prayer and keep alert as you pray, giving thanks to God. And who was Ariok? There was a guy called Ariok in the story. Who was he? He was the commander of the king's bodyguard. And what did Daniel request that he and his friends eat instead of the king's food? Do you remember? Simple. He asked for water and vegetables. If, you, if it was you, what would you ask for? Nyama choma every day. Umena. Pizza. Eh? Those foods, they don't make you healthy. At the end of the day, they make you sick. But Daniel and his friends said, as we don't want those big foods on king's table, we just want water and vegetables. Mm -hmm. And what was Azaria's name changed to? Abednego. Okay. What did Daniel ask his friends to do when he heard about the king's order to execute the advisors? He asked, he asked to pray to God of heaven for mercy and to reveal the mystery of the king's dream. Uh -huh. How many people did the king see in the fire after Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? Do you remember that story? He was so shocked to see another fourth person there. And he exclaimed and he said, oh, we threw three people, three people into the fire. Who is the fourth one that looks like a son of God? Imagine. Hmm? 
He saw four people. Okay. What was the memory verse for week one? Can we, re can we go through it? It was 2 Chronicles chapter 16 and verse 9. The Lord keeps watch over the whole world to give strength to those whose hearts are loyal to him. Imagine, I pray that you and me, when the Lord is coming to look for those loyal hearts, he shall identify as ours. Mm -hmm. What was the name given to Daniel by the king of Babylon? Belteshazzar. Did you know that? And what was the memory verse of week three? Can we go through it together? It was Proverbs chapter three, verse five and six. What does it say? Trust in the Lord with all your heart and never rely on what you think you know. Remember the Lord in everything you do and he will show you the right way. How many days did Daniel request that he and his friends be tested on water and vegetables? How many days? Were they five? Were they seven? Were they six? There were ten days. Uh -huh. Who was king in Judah when they were taken captive? Who was king in Judah? Now we go back to the land of Israel. Who was king? It was a guy called Jehoiakim. And what was Shadrach's name before it was changed? It was Hananiah. Okay. How many times did Daniel pray and how? Daniel prayed three times a day, kneeling in front of a window that faced Jerusalem. And what was the memory verse of week, uh, week three? Let's recite it together. Daniel chapter 6, verse 10 and part B. What does it say? There, just as he had always done, he knelt down at the open window and prayed to God three times a day. And when he's doing this, what is happening? Some people are spying on him so that they can run to the king. Imagine be good children. Don't do some of these bad things we see when we are reading the word of God. Where was Daniel thrown for disobeying the decree about praying to the king? He was drawn into a pit of lion. And who was the king of Babylon when Daniel was thrown into the pit of, of uh, lions? It was King Darius. And he was Daniel's friends. Remember that. And that's why his friends were so jealous on him. Okay? I hope that you have remembered those things that we have learned. And the final point that I want, I want us to remember is, what was Michelle's name changed to? Meshach. So these guys, they had other names. But when they were brought to Babylon, their names were changed. Why did the king of uh, Babylon do that? To remove their identity. But you see, they still remained loyal and faithful to their God of Israel. Okay? Be loyal and faithful wherever you go. If you go to a new school and you find that they don't pray, they don't do good things, you be loyal and faithful to your God. And remember to do the things that you have been taught by your parents, that you have been taught in church. Always remember to do the right words. In fact, there's a verse that says, bad company corrupts what? Good morals. Okay? So whenever you go, make sure that you choose your friends very, very wisely. So let's apply our lesson today. Number one is that stay faithful to God at all times because he will reward your faithfulness and he will bless your loyalty to him. And number two, that trust God like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego who trusted God and he saved them from the fiery furnace. When we trust God, he always saves us from our troubles. And number three, pray continuously. Like Daniel who prayed three times in a day, even when the king had forbidden it. And number four, be thankful to Jesus because God is happy when we are grateful to him and he commands us to be thankful in all situations. Before we close, I want to ask each and every one of you, are we all born again? Have we given our lives to Jesus? Have we? It is always good to renew your relationship with Jesus. Can we do that just for a minute? Can we ask the Lord Jesus to come into our lives? Let's just do that for just one minute. So, Lord Jesus, thank you for knowing me. Thank you for allowing me to know you. Come into my life, and I want to make you my Lord and Savior, and always walk with me, and help me to always trust you. Okay? Now, I want us to pray so that we finish our lesson. And I want you guys to remember, when you come back to church, we are going to remind ourselves, and to even ask ourselves what we have learned, even as we, we were at home. Can we pray now? Lord God, how wonderful and, and wonderful you are to us. We want to thank you this morning. 
you have kept us safe through these hard times of COVID-19. Our country continues to be safe and our country continues to heal. And we pray that even as we heal of COVID-19, Father, that we shall continue to thrive in everything that else that we do, that you're going to provide for us. Whatever we need, Lord, we pray that you're going to provide for us. Help us. I know now that we have, learned, we have stayed at home and we have learned to bond with our siblings and our parents, oh Lord. I pray that it has been a good experience for each and every one of us. Thank you for our, our, the, our friends. Thank you for our teachers. Thank you for our siblings, our parents. Thank you for our sanctuary, our church that allows us to continue learning about you, my God, at all times. We thank you. We ask you to work with us, oh God, and we ask you that when you come looking for those hearts that are loyal to you, that you're going to find our hearts ready and loyal for you. Bless us. Bless our days. Keep us fit. Keep us healthy and provide for us what we need. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. God bless you so much. I can't wait to see you next time. Make sure you continue reading the Bible. Don't forget, okay? And be a Daniel of today. Are we together? Bye. God bless you.